I'm going to go to the restroom and do a little docking. Ha! Huh. Why not? Who's going to be the peeler? I'm not a peeler. you got to find a peeler. I'm clipped. Of course. All civilized people are, right? I wish I wasn't. <laughs> Where's our coffee? I want my coffee! You ever see those circumcised guys that have this uh, organization to try to get their foreskin back? read about that in, uh, I, g- I guess, Penthouse or something years ago. They attach weights onto the yeah. skin get of out their of here. penis yeah. yes, uh, around the head and uh. walk around with these weight devices to try to pull the skin over the top to once again give them a peeler. Why don't they just use, uh, like, chewed bubble gum? <laughs> just wrap, <laughs> wrap, it around, <laughs> wrap it around your helmet. How many times I got to tell you? Not too many more. <laughs> To be like a, I don't know, a penis toupee. Yeah, something like that. gum toupee. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, you're lying. No, no, he's not. The people do want that. Yeah. My friend uh, had, uh, his got messed up, and he had two pieces of skin. Who, Colin? No, not Colin. Uh, his did get messed up. He Heard said. about that on uh, Tough Crowd, right? On Tough Crowd, he talked about it. He, uh, but my friend had two pieces of skin going, like, from, it's almost like, how can I picture this? Uh... Yeah. From the head to the shaft, two little thin pieces of skin uh-huh. still connecting it. <laughs> oh, God. Oof. Oof. Uh, I got messed up a little bit in the back. What? Nothing bad. Well, it's just like a little bit choppy in the back of my mule. In the back of your no, mule? Nothing horrible, just a little bumpy. Yeah, it a looks like... choppy? It's always been that way, because I guess the guy was coughed in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be the most important thing the guy that's doing that does. It shouldn't be some willy-nilly thing... Because you got to live with it the rest of your life. It's a brutal practice. At least they do it when you're infant. So yeah, you don't but you even want your remember it. It's like your helmet's supposed to be very sensitive and all. You know, it's like you you need the protection there. That's why you have it. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to have that protection. You would? Sure. Kind of fine with it just being clipped like that. Doesn't like it's, really. You don't notice it. Yeah. Uh, like it's not sensitive rubbing on your pants as you're walking or anything. You kind of don't think about it. Yeah, but it but might be you're... more sensitive if you didn't. I don't know. To have it, I hear about hygiene issues with people. They're That's, like, I think it's a myth. As long as you're clean, yeah, yeah. As long as you, t- what I would do is just take a. Uh, it's just another fold that has to be cleaned. That's true, like a horse sheath. Oh, the horse sheath where they're pulling that beef jerky out of there. My friend did that. She had a horse and she had to put gloves on. You have to go up in with like a, <sighs> with some sort of uh, like Vaseline or whatever. Yeah. And pull stuff out because the horse rubs on the ground. I saw that video online. It's called horse gag. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, they found our buddy. Oh, uh, Jason. Jason, uh, like I said, the show's always a work in progress, so we'll uh, wrap up another storyline. Our buddy from nyconfidential.com has been arrested, Anthony, has been arrested. Oh, where'd they nail him? Can you give like a 30-second um, explanation here? I mean, I'll read the story, but uh, the lead up here. He's the guy that brought us girls in here uh, in, in the studio. And um, and Jim um, Jim Jim had, had, had sex, sex with, with one of them. them. Oh, yeah, I hung with him. I went, I went to his Jim place. Jim had the girlfriend experience. Yeah. With NY, one of them. NY Confidential. You go to the site, you pick a girl, uh, and what? They deliver them? Don't know. Uh, my thing was I just went there and hung, and they yeah. had the beds in you there. You just like, hung? No, no, no. no. Well, you know, I'm, I'm saying, we know what happened. Or hang? You, you ate ass. My, oh, my po- right. I then caught did. the ass flu. My he point did. is not that. I know that. But I'm saying is I went and hung he, out in the place, talked to him. Yeah. He ditch. He You got the ass-eating flu. So what? <laughs> Beats get, so what? Beats getting it from holding a handrail on a train. Yeah, getting it from a nine and a half. And I uh, cursed out lawyer lady, lo- uh, lawyer lady big time in Washington because yeah. I was pissed off because he gave us all free hours. To do with what we will, and yeah. I'm not, I'm not into the the, the the thing, the prostitute thing. So I was going to give no. it to one of our, our listeners or the intern or somebody, and lawyer lady put the kibosh on it, and I was cursing her out. But I guess she made the right decision. Maybe he did, as you far as that goes. But the head muckety muck, Jason, the head guy, really Jason, good guy by the way, really nice guy, in charge, huge fan of the show too. Yes. Yeah. So the post, uh, big headline, pimp king bust. He was found in Chelsea. A multi-million dollar pimp is behind bars, uh, charged with running a massive Manhattan call girl ring. Massive, they're now saying, Anthony. Boy, he really ran, didn't he? What was the term? Chelsea, yeah, they he found in him. A cab. What was the he hopped in a cab. What was the term they used yeah. uh, yesterday? Well, like, notorious, right? Notorious. We love that word instead of shock jocks. Massive Manhattan call girl ring, and now he's wanted by authorities in two other states for drug possession, stalking, <laughs> and breaking parole. Stalking? Yeah, they busted uh, Jason... 
uh, owner of NY Confidential at Chelsea's uh, Gazenvoort Hotel. Oh, it's one of those uh, fancy schmancy hotels. A fancy hotel? He should have been in a dive yes. with a flashing red neon light out your window. Uh, he was, uh, yeah, they caught him this week. Days after seven of his employees were nabbed in a raid in his Worth Street headquarters, Anthony. Jason, whose high price escort business ranked in at at least $3.6 million a year, was charged with drug possession, promoting uh, prostitution, money laundering, and falsifying business records. Drug possession, that means when they caught him, he had drugs on him? <clears throat> uh, maybe it was a previous charge. I don't know. Maybe when they searched his uh, his offices, they found drugs. I don't know. All right. He's also in hot water in New Jersey, where he's on parole from state prison after serving six months of a five-year sentence for smuggling nearly... 4,000 hits of ecstasy. How do you get out after six months on a five-year... Uh... Non-violent crime, I guess. Maybe it was his first offense. So New Jersey is sending him back to the slammer. Oh, they, this guy's screwed, man. Uh, He's going to yeah, be in for a while now. A while. Meanwhile, authorities searched uh, Jason's Hoboken apartment with drug-sniffing dogs. Wow, man. Oh, my God. They went all out for this one. Uh, yeah. And found, among other things, prescription drugs for which he did not have prescriptions. Yeah, it's uh, the fine is expected to result in drug charges. And in Florida, where Jason once ran a lucrative 900-number phone sex business, he's won on a felony stalking warrant, according to authorities. Details of the warrant weren't immediately available. Mm. Well, how can he be stalking if he's in New York? Well, it says Jason, yeah, really. Jason has a history of abusive and threatening behavior. He was arrested in Jersey in 2000 and again in 2003 for beating up his then-girlfriends. Hmm. Just seeing what else is in here. A uh, quarter million dollar bond, or a hundred fifty thousand dollar cash bail. Uh, I'll try to find that uh, thing he gave me when I went there. Him and what? Natalia, I sat down with them and watched the uh, the little the little uh, piece they put together for a reality show, possibly for New York NY Confidential. It was me, him, and Natalia sat and watched it. A reality show on prostitution. Not that yet. Perhaps you should keep that stuff private. Well, that was the problem because it ends with Jason's sudden fall shocked many in the city's sex industry who said he often bragged of close relationships with the cops. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, because no. the, the lieutenants get aggravated. It's not the, it's not the street guys that you need. Those guys love you, but it's the guys above them, the captains who are all old school religious. Yeah. We learned the hard way and we'll say, we'll tell you in a second. And then it ends, I, I, I guess this is a quote that he said in the post last month. I hire off-duty cops to do my security. I have the cops on my side. Oops. <clears throat> Not the right thing to say. Yeah, you got to keep that kind of... See, you know. we, uh, in the old days, had the NYPD on our side, and, and they're still huge fans of the show, and a lot yeah. of these guys are getting the XM for the you know, the cruisers and stuff, but uh, yeah. we learned the hard way that it's the, the guys above you know, our boys that are, that are doing the real work on the streets of New York and uh, the surrounding areas that had the problem with uh, the Voyeur bus incident. Yeah, it's always the way. You know, the cops, big fans of the show, they, they'll do anything to help. Sometimes they, they shouldn't. Sometimes they should steer clear and not get themselves involved. Because uh, when the brass finds out, everyone gets in trouble. And we had a couple of cops getting in trouble. That, that kind of sucked. If the lieutenant says, go grab those guys, they got to do it. What are you yeah. going to tell the lieutenant, well, I think they're funny? Yeah, I like him. Oh, okay, carry on. Oh, next. Yeah. Th that's a bummer because uh, we had a lot of fun with Jason. He's a nice guy mm. and all. God, so, I, I could have had three. I, I'm going to regret that for the rest of my life. He would have hooked me up with any girls I wanted. Put it on the pile. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Things you're going to regret for the rest of your life. Did you talk to the girl that... Uh... Natalia, I talked to her yesterday. I called her. And? Is she all right? She's fine. She's been out of there for a while. She hasn't been there in a long time. And she's like, I don't know what happened. I think she was telling the truth. She's like, I, I haven't seen him in a long time. I hope he's all right. Hmm. She's been out of there for, for quite a while. I guess I, I'm glad I kind of got her before she left. Okay. I gave her a jingle. All right. Um, moving on, Anthony. Jason busted. We could get rid of that. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. 